friends today i will be showing you how to create soap web service in mule runtime so i hope you all know what is a soap web service so basically soap is a soap simple object access protocol uh, which is used to exchange information between two different systems uh, there are two ways to create SOAP service in Mule Runtime uh, whether you can write uh, Visual first or Java code and then create SOAP service uh, based on that I have already created the service so I will show you uh, how it runs and then you can I will be explaining how it works so my soap service is running on this local host this port and this is the uri and if i put question mark visual so it will give me the visual like web service description language and it will give me one xml which the client can use to implement my uh, service how it is done in mule is basically there is one endpoint which will receive the request then there is a cxf object uh, message processor and then one java component this is the implementation of web service so cxf you can write in two ways as i said visual first or java code first here i am using code first so i have written one interface which is this i hello world so if i go here what i have done is um just simply created one interface and write one annotation as at the rate web service and then create some methods you can create different kind of methods with different arguments uh, you can have custom objects or uh, strings on all those things and then i have created one uh, implementation class which implements my interface and then i did one annotation at the rate web service endpoint interface and the service name and the implementation of all the methods if i go to my configuration file here you can see basically there is one http listener which is listening at this port and then one cxf checks service and then there is a service class where i have put my interface and then the component which implements so when i start this when i start this that's all that's the thing we have to do to create a service I have not written any visual file it will the CXF component will automatically create the visual file based on my implementation and interface class basically the interface class and then whenever a call comes it will uh, route it through this implementation and the response will go back it's pretty simple it's nothing much is done or you can do in the reverse also if I go here okay if i go here you can see there is like generate from visual so if you have a visual class or the visual created already you can add it here and then it will automatically create the implementation class for you so let's see once it runs i go to this path and the visual is soft for me so it will <coughs> help uh, as a discovery of your um, web service and any client can get visual file from here and then start creating implementation and start calling your web service so it will have all the information here uh, like uh, your uh, which uh, location it is running and which port your web service is running so all information will be in this visual file so that's it it's it's pretty simple there's nothing much it's 
very simple uh, in previous uh, days we have to create uh, using web service using access to or access one then a lot of things has to be done um, so you see it's uh, pretty simple only three things and we are ready with web service I hope it was uh, it was very quick uh, explanation and I hope it helped and I will be sharing this code on my github also thank you thank you for